Ideas are all around by Philip C. Stead. Today outside my house, the sunflower opened up. Hello, sunflower. I planted it from a packet of very old seeds. There were a lot of seeds, but only this one grew. Actually, there was one more, but it fell down in a rainstorm before it could open. Planting a seed is always a risk. I have to write a story today. That is my job. I write stories. But today, I don't have any ideas. This is my dog, Wednesday. She doesn't like me to write stories. It's sunny out, and Wednesday wants to go for a walk. Come on, Wednesday. Let's go. Together we walk over the bridge, down the concrete stairs, and then under the bridge and across the boardwalk, beside the river rolling lazily by. There, on a small log, is a painted turtle, sitting very still, in a pocket of sunshine. His name is Frank. Hello, Frank, I say. And like each time before, he makes quick for the dark water and disappears. Goodbye, Frank. Someday I hope he looks forward to these smidgens of time we share. Me and Frank, we're in this together after all. Hi, Wednesday, comes a loud voice all the way from up the hill on the other side of the river. It's Barbara. Wednesday loves Barbara. Barbara lives in the back of a tall blue house with two dogs, three cats, and, a, and an aquarium full of tropical fish. I used to live in the blue house, too, in a room at the very top. One day I tripped on the front steps carrying a bucket of blue paint. The bucket flew out of my hands and the paint made a big blue blob on the sidewalk. When Barbara came home, she said, how wonderful. A blue horse. Hey, Barbara, I call out. Maybe we'll stop by later. Okay, she says, I'll make coffee. Then comes a line of ducks floating downstream. Hello, I say. I don't have any ideas today. If the ducks had any advice, they keep it to themselves. Written in spray paint on the boardwalk near my feet are the words, Stop War, which is a pretty good idea if you ask me. What do you think? I ask a tall bird standing in the water. The blur bird flies away when Wednesday gets too close. How wonderful. Up ahead, a train rumbles by. I wave and imagine passengers off to place. Places like Chicago, Omaha, Seattle. You should never walk on train tracks, I say to Wednesday. But we do it anyway. If we follow them far enough, we'll end up in Cleveland, Baltimore, New York City. But instead, we walk uphill past the school and around the purple, big purple house. We stop at the stone church where a long line of people are waiting for the soup kitchen. Nice day for a walk, a woman says to Wednesday. A man in a wheelchair bends down and scratches Wednesday behind the ears. I used to have a dog just like you, he says. Wednesday wags her tail, and more people come to say hello. No one seems to notice me, so I wait and watch the blue sky. Maybe I'll use my typewriter today. A typewriter makes writing fun, even when there's nothing to say. Clack, clack, clack. You take a walk on the page. I bought my typewriter from a man with thick glasses. Hello, he said, come on in. Did you fix all of these, I asked? Fix and repair, that's what I do. Do you have a favorite one? He looked all around. You know, I really don't. It's like when a person loves horses, each one has a different personality. I love them all. Wednesday tugs the leash, so we start to walk again. There are a lot of birds out today. I can hear them, but I'm not going good at seeing them. I have to imagine what they look like. I know one real bird call. The black-capped chickadee goes, tweet, tweet. 
high then low. It is the same sound I make when Wednesday chases a squirrel and I want her to come back. Wednesday, wait! Wednesday, says Barbara, it's so good to see you. I come following after. Hi, Barbara, how's it going? Pretty good, she says. How are things? I have to write a story today. Wonderful, but I don't have any ideas. Oh, says Barbara, I wouldn't worry about it. Ideas are all around. We sit on the front steps and drink coffee together. Wednesday watches for squirrels. Barbara tells me about the skunk that's been living in her cellar lately. We keep each other company, she says. Barbara tells me about the canoe she'd like to buy. There are so many things you never get to see if you don't get out on the water. I tell Barbara about Frank. We talk about typewriters and the bird calls we know. We talk about long lines of people waiting for something to eat. We talk about places we'd like to go on the train. We talk about war. It's such a waste, Barbara says. We could all go fishing instead. Then Barbara gets up and pulls a weed from the front yard. Did you know that 10,000 years ago, this spot was the bottom of a lake? It's true. Giant ancient fish swam in herds like buffalo. And before that were the woolly mammoths. This neighborhood has been so many things, has seen so many things. Let's go, I say, and they follow me home like friendly ghosts. Clack, 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 ding. Together, we take a walk on the page. Wednesday falls asleep and dreams of squirrels.